What's up guys, this is Greg Helbeck. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you're new to this channel, I've bought and sold well over like 130 pieces of property. Been a full-time real estate investor, been a seven-figure real estate investor. Uh, I started doing that a couple years ago, but uh, I've been doing this business for a while. I've learned a lot of stuff and I've made a lot of mistakes. So my goal on this channel is to share my knowledge with you. So if you do get value today, if you could subscribe to my channel and like the video, it would mean a lot to me, right? So today I'm gonna talk about how do you deal with title issues? What is a title issue? How do you deal with them? So let me just start with this. If you're in the business of getting motivated sellers, as they would say, to call you and do deals with you without having to go on the open market MLS, uh, you're going to run into title issues. I got some some heavy news for you. It's going to happen. Title issues are going to come up. Um, and you've got to learn how to deal with them. And fortunately, I guess for me, uh, a way that I really started to get my business off the ground when I was getting started uh, a while ago now is I would go after these properties that had title issues because I knew that I was willing to solve them and other people weren't. So what are title issues? And then I'll tell you how to solve them, right? Title issue, and then I'll give you a story on how I solve title issues right, on a property. Title issues are basically when you lock a property up in contract and you take it to your title company or attorney or escrow company, depending on your state, and you know they pull the title, AKA research who the owner is. And when they pull the title and they see that you know maybe the owner is dead, right? And you gotta do it in the state, a probate or an affidavit scenario, or maybe there's a lien on the property for a bunch of money because someone didn't pay someone and then they put a lien on the property, or you know there's a violation, as we would say, or violation on the property. Uh, and like, you know, the town found out that there was a, you know, a deck that wasn't permitted and they put that on the property. It's anything preventing the deal from closing um, that's on the title report, basically, right? It's, it's any sort of challenge. Usually when you have no title issues, title's clean, owner is the owner, you know, free and clear property or we have the payoff and we settle and that's it. But and title issues are basically things that block deals from closing. And they could be a problem because if you don't get title issues cleared, you can't make revenue, right? Go Jets. Uh, and, you know, this is going to happen, right? This is going to happen, especially when you're going after properties that, that are vacant, right? So uh, that is what a title issue is. How do you deal with the title issue, right? So how do you deal with title issue? It really depends on what the actual title issue is. Uh, some title issues are unsolvable. Uh, and I'll be very honest with you. There are some deals that will die via title issues and there's nothing you can do. I'll give you a quick example on that. Have a property in Houston. Got it under contract. Seller told me he was a seller. He said he quote unquote inherited it from his life partner, whatever that means. And, um, you know, I, uh, you know, found a buyer and, you know, it was like 20 grand profit. And we find out that he's not the owner. Sure as shit, he ain't the owner. So I was like, well, that's a problem. Um, title wouldn't clear it. And I understand why, because he had no legal grounds to sell this property. Um, and then we looked into it and we were like, well, in order to get involved with affidavits and stuff, like it's not worth it because we're only making 20 grand, which sounds crazy. Um, uh, but I mean the amount of time, effort and money and paperwork to get this thing closed when it doesn't make sense. So that deal is going to probably die because of title issue, right? That's an unsolvable title issue. So, um, that was an example that happened in our case. So the first thing you got to do is you got to isolate the title issue. So let's say, for example, it's a probate scenario, right? I have a done bunch of these properties go on, you know? Let's say it's a probate issue. I actually have, yeah, I can think of like a few of them off the top of my head right now. You have a probate title issue, just to use an example. You need to isolate the issue. So is it a probate issue? Is it a violation issue? Is it a, you know, lien issue? So let's say it's a probate issue. Generally, and this isn't legal advice, when you have a probate problem with a piece of property, depending on the state, you need to get the will sent to probate, assuming the person had a will, right? And then the probate, uh, this is the probate court. And then once the probate court gets the will, they process the will. That takes time. You know, it depends on how busy the court is. Once they process the will, they'll issue the administrator or the executor the right to sell the property. And then whenever they give the letters, the letters that say this person's able to sell the property, you can close and that person's legally the new owner of the property. Um, so that's, that's how you'd solve a probate one, right? So the takeaway is you need to isolate the issue and figure out the next action item, right? So I'll say that again. You got to isolate each issue or the next issue and then figure out what's the next action item you can do in order to move that deal forward. So in, in the case I share with you, you got to, you know, take the probate will to the court or the seller needs to do that and they need to open the file. And then the next action item is they got to wait for the court to approve the probate, Right. So always don't bury your head in the sand like an ostrich with title issues. Just isolate the title issue 
and figure out the next best step, right? And put your problem solving hat on and understand what title issues, uh, if there weren't ever any title issues, you probably wouldn't be in business because it would be too easy, right? So when you have a title issue, you gotta understand that's where the opportunity is because a lot of other people don't wanna solve that. Hope this video was helpful. I wanna keep it around five minutes, we're a little bit over that. If you did get value, if you could subscribe to my channel and like this video, it would mean a lot to me. If you wanna get coached by me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, head over to bookacallwithgreg.com. That's bookacallwithgreg.com. Uh, there's no sales pitch on there. It's a 15 minute call. You'll hop on the phone with me. Just ask you some questions about your business, genuinely help you. And uh, if you think it's a fit for coaching and I think it's a fit, we can talk about that. And if not, it'll be a valuable call either way. And then if you want to learn how to be an absolute savage with direct mail and mail profitably and mail consistently and understand how to systematize it, head over to directmailclass.com, download my direct mail free guide. Um, and uh, it's really valuable. So directmailclass.com. And then lastly, if you want to do a deal with me, if you want a wholesale deal to me, if you want to partner with me on wholesale deals, just send me an email, greg at velocityhousebuyers.com. That's greg at velocityhousebuyers.com with subject line deals. And I'd love to take a look at your deal and see how we can help each other. All right, take care. Bye-bye.